if you want to save time on grinding your badges and overall, make sure you hit up Hero Grinders on Instagram or Twitter for the fastest and safest way to get your badges maxed out. Links will be in the description. What is going on guys, welcome back to the channel for this quick video and today we'll be talking about post playmaker badge. So with this one, we'll talk about how it works like on what situations will the badge activate and some recommendations at the end and we'll see if it stacks with diamond. We're not doing stats for this one, we're only looking for how it really works. So for the definition, when passing out of the post or after an offensive rebound, receivers are given a shot boost. It is pretty much straightforward but still good to see in game how it really works. So basically, it's like a dimer badge that gives receiver a shot boost but the main difference is for post playmaker, it only works when you're on a back down position or if the pass is off an offensive rebound. You don't necessarily need to be inside the paint, even if you're a bit outside the paint, it should be fine. So as you can see here, even if you're far from the basket, it will activate. But if you're too far like this one, even if you're already back down, it will activate Dimer instead. Now, when I equipped the badge, I had an impression that it makes my pass faster, but you know me, I don't really trust my feelings with things like this one, so I tested it on Blacktop. Same test I did with Bullet Passer, and it showed, nah, it doesn't make your passes faster. So before we go to the next part, just want to invite you guys to like the video if you're liking it so far, and don't forget to drop by the channel for some other videos, and of course subscribe to tune in for upcoming ones. It would be really awesome if you guys can leave any feedback or any recommendation for a topic. So now going back, you might be wondering now, does it stack with Dimer? No it doesn't, only one can work at a time. If it's off a back down inside or off the offensive rebound, that's going to be post playmaker, otherwise that's going to be Dimer. I activated it a lot of times and I haven't seen them activate together in one play. Now for the recommendation, this is just from a park player perspective, but I think it still applies on some other modes. I know it always depends on your playstyle or your build, but if you're a big, I think it's safe to say that it's a good move to balance it out with your dimer badge, because every now and then you'll be using one of them. So make it like bronze dimer then bronze post play, silver dimer then silver post play. Don't put everything in one badge then leave the other badge empty. So try to level them together because you'll use them evenly as a big. You'll get offensive rebounds, then kick out for a 3, and sometimes guys double you on the block for a kick out, so it's really handy to have it. As a big, every now and then these things happen, especially if there's a mismatch, people will really swarm you on the block, so this will be your dimer badge on post up situations. If you're a small build, obviously it's not a good badge for you unless you post up or do offensive rebounds, but I don't think that's the case. Now for the boost, I haven't tested for the stats yet. But just a smart assumption, it should be around the same boost as Dimer. But if ever I did a stat testing with this one, just check the pinned comment section below, I'll put it there. So that's all for the video. If you guys like it, please smash that like button and please consider subscribing for more videos. And don't forget to drop by the channel for lots of other contents. And as always, stay safe and happy gaming guys. Peace.